Hello, world. This is Tommy Haywood coming to you from Leesburg, Florida, the lakefront city in the Sunshine State. This is Friday, May the 8th, 2020. It's 75 degrees on the sunny day on the way up to 84. I hope you're having a wonderful day. About 40 years ago, the late Paul Bear Bryant made a television commercial for South Central Bell. He was the six foot three, rough and tough, legendary football coach of the Alabama Crimson Tide, making a 30 second commercial about calling your mama. Although you can still see this commercial on YouTube, I can still see it in my own mind as if it were yesterday, as it made a profound impression on me. He was sitting on a, on a desk chair and began by hanging up a phone, turning around in his chair and by saying that they keep the new football recruit, recruits pretty busy, but it was important for them to keep in touch with their family. He would encourage them to write a postcard right then and then stress that there was always time to pick up a phone and call home. He stressed it was real important for them to keep in touch. He would end by saying, have you called your mama today? I sure wish I could call mine. I know I called my mama several, on several occasions because I had seen that commercial. There's an old saying that the hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. The fact that mothers have a tremendous influence on our lives is certainly true and is borne out by the Bible. Samuel comes to mind as one of the finest heroes of the Bible. He is one of the few people about which the Bible has nothing bad to say. He had a God-fearing mother by the name of Hannah, and Hannah promised the Lord that she would give her son back to him if he would bless her with a son. He did and she did, according to 1 Samuel chapter 1. Samuel became a faithful prophet of the Lord in the house of the Lord at Shiloh, 1 Samuel chapter 3. Timothy comes to mind as a New Testament example of one who had a godly mother and a godly grandmother. Paul wrote to Timothy the following words in 2 Timothy 1 in verse 5. When I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you, which first dwelt in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded is in you also. Timothy's mother and grandmother were both women of genuine faith, and remembering their dedication to the Lord was no doubt a great source of encouragement to Timothy. Then we must remember Mary, the mother of Jesus. While we do not elevate her beyond what the scriptures teach, we do know that she was a remarkable woman of faith who did not hesitate to accept her role as a pregnant virgin expecting the one who was to become the Savior of the world, according to Matthew chapter 1. When she, while she had other children by her husband, according to Matthew 12, 46 and 47, and chapter 13, 55 and 56, she had to have been a special person to have been chosen by the Lord to have his son without an earthly father through the conception of the Holy Spirit. Yes, mothers have a special place with special capabilities, we owe a lot to our mothers who are worthy of our honor, not just on Mother's Day, but every day of the week. They are the ones who went through the valley of the shadow of death to give us life, to wipe our fevered brow when we were sick, to spend sleepless nights caring for us when we could not care for ourselves, to sacrifice their own pleasures, to satisfy ours, to tend to our scrapes and bruises when we were hurt, and to do many more selfless deeds for our benefit and not expecting any payment from us. If you're a mother watching this video, the greatest gift you can give your child is a God-fearing example of love and selfless service. The physical necessities of life are important, but are of secondary importance to the spiritual needs of your child. When you're gone from this life, they'll remember the physical things you provided them, but will they remember seeing you pray, or studying your Bible, or singing praises to God, or worshiping the, with the people of God, or helping someone who's in need? And the greatest blessing you can give your children is to love their father. Perhaps circumstances in life have made this impossible for you, and that's regrettable, but it's understandable in these troubled times. If you're a grown child watching this video, you're still responsible to honor your parents if they're still alive. Jesus honored his mother even when on the cross by turning her care over to his beloved disciple John. He took a dim view of the religious leaders who nullified the law of God, which required one to honor his parents, but they released them of that further obligation to care for their aging parents if they donated money to the temple service in Mark chapter 7, 5 through 13. Believe me, you don't want him to take a dim view of you at the judgment because you forsook your parents in their time of declining health. In the words of Paul Bear Bryant, have you called your mama today? I sure wish I could call mine. 
This is Tommy Haywood wishing for you a pleasant good day, and to all you mothers who may be watching, happy Mother's Day.